So in the series of learning Python programming language in the previous video we have seen what is multiple if statement, the syntax, how to use those uh, multiple if in a program with the help of a program we have seen, right? So now we will see in this video one coding exercise. Now what is this? You need to write a program that is for automatic pizza order program, right? So th these are Python pizzas. Now, what according to the user input you need to calculate the final bill now what is the what you need to take care see small pizza price is 100 rupees for medium pizza 200 large pizza 300 right if user want pepperoni pepperoni for small pizza is for 30 rupees and pepperoni for medium or large pizza is 50 rupees extra cheese for any size of pizza is 20 rupees Right, so need to you need to ask from user what size pizza you want to order. Right, based on that you will in that bill first of all you will add these numbers. Then you will ask you want to add pepperoni. Now based on small or medium or large pizza you need to add 30 or 50 rupees in that bill. Now you need to ask you want extra cheese. If yes then extra 20 rupees you need to add and then after that you need to process the final bill and you will the output would be your final bill is this this this. So in this whatever you have learned till now multiple if, if nested if else, elif. These things you need to use in this program right. So first it's up to you you can just draw a flow chart just to make the clear picture of the program and then you can write down the program right. Now think and pause the video and try out this program. So I hope you have done this program. Now let's write down this. Let's create a new file and uh, coding, coding exercise 9. So first of all what we will ask from the user size, size of pizza. Okay, we will take a variable and using input function we will ask small, medium or large. Now at first bill amount is 0. So we will set it to 0. Now put the condition if the size is equal to equal to it may be small s or capital s capital s both means small so we'll check two condition if capital s capital s or size is small s this is logical or logical operators we have discussed if this is the case then we will update the bill now bill equal to bill plus 100 rupees it's not final bill bill starting at starting bill was zero now we will add 100 rupees if pepperoni uh, he or she wants to add then add some extra rupees so like bill plus equal to 100 right or you can say bill equal to bill plus 100 fine or simply you can just print that the small uh, pizza price is 100 rupees now next condition else if elif for medium size equal to equal to capital m or size maybe small m in that case I am just going to copy paste this now bill plus we will add 200 bill plus equal to 200 and this is medium pizza and at last else or you can write down else if l if size is equal to large then uh, bill plus 300 or simply in else you can write down bill plus equal to 300 if you want to put a more condition like else if uh, size is large l or l then bill plus this else wrong input please enter a valid size right if user enter if user you know enter any other alphabet other than this s m r l then you can print that thing here simply we'll just i'm just going to you know keep it simple so that's it these three are the cases now okay pizza size suppose i have entered small pizza now they will ask if you want to add pepperoni so obviously in the same indentation we'll take a variable do you want pepperoni or not right so now we'll check if this add pepperoni this variable equal to equal to capital y or it may be small y so we'll add two things or this add pepperoni equal to small y in both the cases but for pepperoni in case of pepperoni for small pizza 
it is of 30 rupees for other it is of 50 rupees so again you need to check within this if nested if else so again we will check if same this condition size size condition so I am just going to copy paste this thing if size is small then how much you need to add plus 30 rupees to the bill so bill plus equal to 30 right else bill plus equal to how much 50 rupees for medium and large pizza pepperoni price is 50 rupees okay now pepperoni is done now again uh, the, you know they will ask you want extra cheese or not so same we will take a variable extra cheese do you want extra cheese right and uh, sorry here we have fallen so here we will check if this extra cheese this is yes so if this variable is either capital Y or small y because capital Y small y both means yes small y if this is true then for all size of pizza for any size of pizza you need to add 20 rupees so bill will update the bill bill plus equal to 20 okay now we have put all the condition now simply we will print the bill okay using f string we will print the bill right so your final bill is this so please first of all dry run this thing write down this program with your hand on a paper then dry run this with uh, you know the inputs maybe small pizza medium or different different kind of inputs and dry run this then compile and run on your laptop now let me just run this and show you the what output you will get so I want large pizza. Large pizza price is 300 rupees. Do you want pepperoni? Yes. Do you want extra cheese? No. So your final bill is 350 rupees. 300 plus pe for pepperoni 50 rupees. Let's run this again. If I enter small pizza, yes. Small pizza is 100 rupees. Do you want uh, pepperoni? No. N. Extra cheese? No. N. Your final bill is 100 rupees. So this is just a simple program. It's not just a complete. We haven't you know discussed all the cases. If we haven't put, if you don't enter S, M, or L, then what warning it should print? If you don't enter Y or N, if any other thing you enter like L here, if I enter A, then what it should give? Right. Right. So we haven't discussed all the cases. My motto is just to you know get you familiar with how to use this nested if, else, l if, multiple if in a single program. If you want to modify this thing, you want to add extra cases, you can just try out, right? So in the next video, we will see one more coding exercise. So now I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.